of our flavor and Fridays. Oh geez, it's not your average candy. These gummies, they absolutely knock it out of the park when it comes to flavor and the effects of their gummies are total slam dunk too. Head over to OGsBrands.com to see their full lineup, including their two newest gummies, the OGs Naturals and the Big OGs, and find out where you can purchase. You're gonna to need to take a couple OGs for this episode. That's we're right. Not really, we're not really talking ball. Actually, we, we're gonna try not to talk any ball. We can talk some here and there. Um, it's not gonna be as strict as our palate cleansers in the past but um yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna avoid avoid all sports because we've been talking about it too much eric how's your friday yeah it's been it's been good it's an interesting day our boy gerald borgay he's getting married today so the entirety of phnx is kind of in a little bit of a frizzy we're uh thrown off of our schedules a little bit a lot of shows happening early and remote but you know we're happy for him excited for him and uh i did need a palate cleanser talking a lot about asu men's basketball for months and months and months on end and then it's over and then you like get all of it you get the wave of it and then a couple days later you're just like okay i'm going to talk about this a lot during the off season as well so yeah, yeah. We're, we're we're going to be discussing it a lot and if you missed the last couple shows we've addressed house of heat sports the fire bobby hurley and all of that we've addressed all of that uh in our last two a shows. lot so we're not going to address it Again, uh, Donald already coming in with the hashtag fire York for leaving the Big 12 uh, tournament in Kansas City. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that is the Big Daddy Ormark, um, BDY as we're calling him. Didn't come through on our prayers, unfortunately, but alas. We got some conference tournament games tonight, which we'll get into near the end of the show. But if you don't know what a palate cleanser is, you've, if you're new to PHNX Sun Devils, we did this again. Our first palate cleanser was in Vegas. Uh, we were actually surrounded we were the Knights at the Round Table, surrounded um, a, a round table in the Excalibur, and we had one mic, this mic that I'm using right here, and we just sat it in the middle and we just talked. It didn't make for great audio, but it made for some good content. Um, and that was kind of the birth of it. Basically, in Palette Cleansers, we just talk, and we don't talk any ball, um, and we just talk random subjects. So, chat, if you want to get us going on some random things, throw them in the chat. I have our first subject, and this is something that I've talked to the PHNX Sundowns crew a lot, a bunch of my friends a lot. One of the one of the most fun things to to discuss is aptly named words, like okay. what words sound like what they're called. And I can get us can get us off with a great one. It's pillow. Like that if, is if, a good one. If you hear pillow, you're just like that's soft. Like it feels soft. It feels like I can lay my head on the word. It's a pillow. You know, I wasn't expecting you to go pillow. I don't know what I was expecting to be honest with you. Uh, because I haven't thought of any of those words myself, but pillow is not one that I feel like people even okay. talk about like often. Chain, like, I think is a good one. Like chain. It just feels like a chain. Um, okay. Box. It's like, it's, it's a square box. Is firework too on the nose? No, that's, I mean, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little, a little bit. bit. That, yeah. That is a little too on the nose. It feels a little dirty to like throw uh -huh. that one in there yeah. with all of yours yeah. as well. A little too on the nose. Sopping. I think it's perfect. You're just, you're just, well, cause, cause you're this, on this, fire. This has been, this is what I've you talked, do. Yeah. I've talked about this for a while. Chat, feel free to chime in on your, on your favorite, um, your favorite aptly named words. I think ice is a good one. Um, why? Like, I feel so inadequate right now. Like I, I'm like, I'm like searching for stuff, but you're just pulling out banger after banger, um, after banger, after banger. Well, there's also words that I think aren't aptly named and the exact opposite th words that I think aren't that don't sound anything like it. Like, um, rock is another good aptly named word. Rock is perfect. Like, it, like there yeah. could be no other word for rock. Um, what about flower? Flower is a good one. Cause it feels like flower feels like it's blooming like, flower, right. you know, flower. flower. It's, it's I really wonder if somebody just jumps in this stream, like three minutes late <laughs> and all we're doing is going flower. 
Spark, that's a good one. Spark is a good Spark one for sure. Spark is Spark is a very good one. Um, Acorn, lightning? I think, is a lightning is a great one because it's it's light and it's a big bright flash. Um, I think Column was a little bit of a of a of a, of a okay one. Um, it, it could be a little better, but it, but Column feels straight, like um, parallel. Tell, parallel. Wow, parallel is a great one. It, I'm, I'm not, my my mind's working now. I'm, even I'm, though parallel is not really a tangent object, it still no. feels like like it helps perfect. that it's got the the L's too. Yes, the L's the definitely L's. lead it. Um, I think vase was a bit of a miss. Like eh, vase, not really feeling it. A cloud. Oh, clouds! Like the reason why I started talking about this. Okay. Cloud is like the perfect one. Like cloud. Say it. Say cloud. cloud. I'll say it for you. Cloud. Eric, do you know what semantic satiation is? It's when you we say just, a word. I feel like we just. Took a well, no, it's turn. no, it's when you say a word to, like multiple times, or mm -hmm. like too many times, and then you starts to sound like not a word. Yes, keep pillow, 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 and you're like, why? It sounds weird now. Yeah, pillow. pillow. Now you just sounds like you're just making a noise. That's what semantic no, association is. No, I've I have for I've never heard of it like put in that way or with that mm -hmm. term. So I thought we were just completely veering and switching subjects. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I've definitely had that before. We're like, I'll, or like, I'll, you'll hear like a song or something. And like, it'll be like a rap sign. Like the words just kind of like repeating. Yeah. And you're like, like, is that even a real word? Yeah, Man, I did. I am definitely like lacking on the OGs front right now. I feel like if I had me a nice, a nice OGs with their mm -hmm. RSO, I'd be, I'd be firing on a different level. Well, let's, let's wake up a little bit. Come on, let's, Eric, let's wake up a little bit. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, all right. Well, if you think of any more chat, same with you. If you think of any more, just drop them in. Drop, drop in your most aptly named words, uh, and we can get to them. But we'll transition on to our, our next topic point, our talking point. Uh, why do you think? So first of all, let's just open this more broad. What is like the best non-natural flavor? Like that's supposed to resemble a natural flavor. I think orange Ooh. always hits really well. Yeah, like, orange, like orange is a good Gatorade, one. orange, like peel or, or not orange peels, like orange gummies. They're, yeah, they're always great. Cream, like orange and cream. Speaking of OGs, amazing. Yes, orange and cream, fantastic. It's not necessarily resembling of something that's real, but we just kind of accept it. Blue raspberry. Dude, I feel blue like raspberry blue, is blue raspberry so good. Is, is, oh is up God. there for elite flavor for sure. We yeah. got cherry and strawberry in the yep. chat from Donald and from Sharon. Oh, we also have a question from Donald. Shane, is that a hoodie or a house rope? It's a, it's a PHNX hoodie, phnxlocker.com. We should get a PHNX house robe. That would go kind of hard. That would be nice. <laughs> kind of um, hard. So, Mike, the, the follow-up question to this is, or grape is a good example. Sometimes, what, what's, what are flavors that, you know, taste like, the color like grape flavored things don't taste like grape they taste like purple this is like very specific to laffy taffies but banana mm -hmm. the banana laffy taffy does not taste like banana and i yeah, can't remember just, the last tastes, time i had one it just tastes it, like weird it like, tastes like yellow <laughs> yeah it tastes like yellow yeah yeah but i feel like grape flavored things just taste like the color purple and purple's my favorite my favorite color so like it's is it's it a knock uh-huh so you're digging the ogs lower right here you're digging yeah. that donald i have a question for you uh, you're saying pineapple and banana. I'm hoping that you're, you're saying that for our second topic, not the, the flavors that you like because pineapple and banana liking for Laffy Taffy is, I don't know that, that, that might make me make a call to somebody. I can't, I can't believe that. Okay. Donald. No, he is. He's, he's pro banana Laffy wow. Taffy. Donald. Wow. No, I thought that we've been doing better. I don't know about if you know this Shane, but Donald and I, we have a little, a uh, little fun well, fun back and forth, and uh, we never agree on anything. We never agree on anything, and the fact that he likes banana laffy taffy might be like the the cherry on top of everything. I can't believe yeah. that, Donald. Yeah, Sharon says I love bananas, but I hate banana flavored things. Exactly. That's, a, that's yes, a, true. Completely feel the true. same way. And we got Rick, Rick saying, in the chat. Yeah, yeah is, go is for this it. what the Sun Devils podcast has resorted to? Easier to talk about OGs than any Arizona State athletics. Yeah, that's. And that is what yeah. this episode is for. We've done these in the past. Um, sometimes you just get a little over encumbered with with ASU athletics talks, and you're just like, I I need to let it all out, and I need to I need to pop an OGs, sit back, and listen to my boys talk about their favorite cereals. Eric, what's your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal, Do you man, eat cereal? I, not anymore. Not I, anymore. I no, I haven't eaten cereal regularly since I was probably ten. 
Yeah, I there I'm kind of jealous of the people who can just be like I still eat cereal like every day and like every night. I my boring answer is is the one that I would probably go to most often, which is Honey Nut Cheerios, just because I feel like it's borderline. Like you can still feel generally okay about yourself after eating it, mm -hmm. you know, but it still tastes good. Uh, but if I'm trying to get like real down to it, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I feel like is in that elite tier yeah. for me. And Absolutely. because of the, the, the milk afterwards too. Yeah, for sure. Um, Reese's Puffs are great. They also have the best song yeah. anybody's ever created for a food. Stop. Now it's going to be stuck in my head. Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs. We might get demonetized for that. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. Fla like, uh, goes crazy. Um, Count Chocula was was okay. elite for like for like, twi like twi two or three boxes. And then it was like, it's just Lucky Charms with chocolate. How do you feel about Frosted Flakes? Frosted Flakes hurt to eat. You gotta let them like soften a little bit. Yeah. But then they kind of then they lose the then they lose their crunch and you kind of speaking, you're, of, speaking you're of letting something letting something or not let it, letting cereal soften. Uh, <laughs> wheat 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 thins no wheaties wheaties yeah wheaties you eat wheaties wheaties, wheaties are elite if you eat them really fast but if you let them get soggy they're disgusting. I can't. I I'm not I'm not a wheaties guy. I'm sorry. I just really? in, in, in no in no circumstances mm. have I ever sat back and been like you know what. I want some Wheaties right now. Yeah. I can't do uh, it. What about, uh, what was it? Chocolate, cho what was the chocolate chip cookie one? Uh, cookie, crisp. Crisp. Cookie, crisp. Cookie, cookie crisp, cookie crisp. Cookie I mean, that's that, basically, you're basically just eating cookies. You're basically you just have, eating can, cookies for can breakfast. Can you believe that was a thing? Like, and it was, was like a normal like an, thing. It was an accepted like, thing and it still is yeah. kind of an accepted thing. Okay, Cereal here's, is here's the topic. Insane. Cereal, breakfast food. Oh. Here, here is something that- Dude, I could rip, I could rip. Well, hold up. Then this let's rip. This can be our second second entire segment. Okay. Um, breakfast food is genuinely like I could eat breakfast food every single day. So we'll, we'll just talk about cuisine, but first we got to talk about something that is that you can't actually taste, but it's like victory where you can taste it. You can. Okay. It, it's it's winning cash on prize picks. And oh. Let, love. Let, let's just let's just rip right now. Let me pull it up because please do. I this this app saved me so many times when I was traveling because it's available in so many more states than you would think. Um, when I was traveling on the road for the last six months, like just go ahead and rip some prize picks. Like there are so many fun things you can do on this. They have season long ones. I got some, I got some season long entries for the uh, MLB season already. Got some Vlad Jr. Over home or more than more on his home runs. Julio Rodriguez more on home runs. Aaron Judge less on home runs. 44 and a half. That's Ooh. so many. Uh, but you also got daily fantasy. And that's why I love it. Because you can pick less or more on so many different things. Like Cade Cunningham's assist, which is the most bet on thing today. No idea why. Really? Um, yeah. Who are they playing? It, uh, the Heat. I don't know why his assist against the numbers. heat. That's I why, strange. I don't know why his assist. It must numbers, be a juicy so. line, man. Yeah, it's seven and a half. Um, but yeah, it's 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 so fun. And instead of battling thousands of other players on this daily fantasy app, including pros and sharks and people that are better than you, you just have to pick more or less, and you play against yourself, or you can you can play against other people. It's 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 so fun. Um, and other and you got your friends can get in on it. Uh, it's 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 great. It, it's it, it's it. it it's just like a lot of the other apps we use, but it's so user friendly. Like the interface is just bing, 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 bing. You can click them real fast. You got 60 it. seconds, yep. like 60 seconds and you can win some money. And like it's, it's, it's genuinely that easy. Yeah. If you want a $100 uh, deposit match, go to prizepicks.com slash phnx and use code phnx for deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash phnx. Use code phnx. Pick more, pick less. It's just that easy. It really is that easy. And I would say the new Arizona lottery promotion makes it really easy to enjoy because there's more than one way to do it. So first of all, Arizona lottery is introducing Arizona adventure lottery tickets, and you can play in the basic way where you can go and you can buy a scratcher. That scratcher features three iconic landscapes across Arizona and the tickets have prizes up to $50,000. Great. Like that could be the end of the ad read. Cool. Awesome. But the thing is it doesn't stop there. And my absolute favorite part of this is you can also check in at geolocated adventures at 10 destinations across the state from Flagstaff to Yuma, North, South, East, and West. They have something everywhere. If you're looking for it, you go in, you check in on their website at this geolocated, uh, uh, adventure and you get entered for a chance to win $1 million in cash and Arizona travel prizes. And on top of all of that, not only you winning money, not only you being able to go and enjoy this fantastic state before it becomes down 
or become it becomes like 115 degrees outside when you buy tickets you can actually use some of those proceeds that are going towards you know Arizona lottery and buying the ticket is going to go into uh, in conservation of the environment in Arizona plus other great initiatives around the state it's truly a win 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 you can't go wrong with it you can have some fun scratch some tickets which in itself is a good time go touch some grass and go help that grass stay around for a little bit longer than it, it uh, is on track to right now so Get to azadventure.com for more information on how you could take the adventure for a chance to win $1 million in cash and Arizona travel prizes. But here, here's my thing with breakfast food. I love breakfast food. I'm a massive fan of breakfast food. It is my favorite meal. It is one of the greatest rebrandings of all time to just make cake and desserts like suitable for and, a whole other meal by itself. And, and milkshakes? Like, like frappuccinos? Milk- just Frappi- drink a milkshake at one in the mo- or at six in the morning. Awesome right. milkshakes. You, you, this could be the average American breakfast, which maybe we could get into a bigger topic here. But like no, the we, average no, American we don't want to talk about I'm that. Kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. The average American breakfast is you can go and you can get like a blended sugar drink. You can get a pancake cake. You can put syrup on the pancake, whipped cream, butter on that, and then you're like, you know what? Maybe I can also have like a muffin too. You yeah. know, like it, it's, it's it, to me, or I'll have a bowl of cereal, all sorts of sugar. And it's like, not that I'm complaining. Yeah. Because you sound like you're complaining. That, no, here's the thing. The, 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 the fact is, man, like I, I love me some breakfast, but you take like a step back. Like when I was a kid and I would eat certain unnamed because we don't want to promote them brands of uh, like uh, breakfast pastries that you can drop into a toaster and that pop out. And you think to yourself, like, that was all I was eating at 6 a.m. before going yeah, and like crazy. learning. Like, like you, like, you know, like it's just, but it was normal. Like it was it's like, just It's normal. like 1 p.m. and you're like, why am I so tired? <laughs> why am I so tired True. right now? Yeah, you're like your stomach, <laughs> your stomach hurts at lunch and you're like, yeah. I didn't really eat anything crazy. Yeah. It's like, oh, I just had a sugar pocket for a breakfast. A PT, just had a nice PT yeah. for breakfast. A nice, a nice PT, yeah. Um, or a nice yeah. TS. You ever have a nice TS before? Nice the one that you put in the microwave oh, oh, dude. and you drizzle a little bit on top dude. of the TS. Those go crazy. Yeah. Those um, went nuts. Well, yeah. I, now I obviously, I, I, I tried not to do that. I am a, I am a, a connoisseur of gas station pastries. Uh, okay. Actually only one. I just love the generic, uh, they, they actually have them at Circle K. So shout out Circle K. The generic uh, cheese croissant ones. Oh yeah. Destroy those. Absolutely destroy those. But those are great. Um, what do you have for breakfast every morning? What's your like normal breakfast? Okay. So my normal breakfast is I'm usually eating eggs uh, plus uh, a little toast. And if I make toast, I'm going to put some avocado on it. And if I have a bagel, then I make my own like cinnamon schmear. Mm-hmm. Put it on that. Um, if I'm going quick though, I'm an old man. I'll have me some oatmeal. Some oatmeal with some brown sugar. Big time. A little cinnamon. Uh, I, used to, I used to hate it. Used to stay away from it. Um, but... I now it's like so quick and it's so easy and it's not that bad for you, but I definitely still get my little sugar fix in uh, for breakfast. What about you? I'm a every morning it's like clockwork. It's either just avocado toast with everything bagel okay. seasoning, or Ooh, that's avocado a good, that's toast good call. with eggs on top. Yeah, um, that's a good call. That's every morning because it's so easy. it's ca- it's so cheap. Like, dude, yeah, I went to I went to uh, a grocery store the other unnamed day. Unnamed grocery store, yes. Yeah, unnamed grocery store the other day. Hoity toity grocery store, expecting to find oh. crazy prices on produce. Five avocados for five dollars, because they probably ordered too many. But like they were like, you can yeah. buy two for five, or you can get five for five. Five for There's five. A... So I got. I'm that. gonna I'm get five for five. Off that. Last well, the week. thing is. When you go grocery shopping, the thing that's the most expensive is never the actual produce. Even if you yeah. go to like the the hoity toity, like sure the prices will be more, but the produce itself is not going to be what it's it's all the packaged stuff off to the side. Yeah. Um, but I I'm very much a eat the same thing for breakfast kind of guy. Like, and I have been my whole life. When I was in high school, I'd have the same you know either toaster or microwave thing. Like I I was a big mini microwave pancakes guy. And what I used to do is I would put some what peanut butter in. You never have my, you like you, you, you can buy like like you can buy like in the frozen section. There's just like it comes like the same box that like a frozen waffle would be in. And you open it up and you take the package out and there's just a bunch of frozen mini pancakes. And you just like you deal that shit onto the plate. You throw it in the microwave. Heat it up for like a minute. Too. 
Yeah, you know, you got to shuffle them. Sometimes you got to stack them. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I was I was very constant and just like I just I would get up. I'd have my routine. I'd, I'd have those or some cinnamon toast sticks. Uh, so I, I'll have like a rotation of like two or three things. But that's that's always the same thing. I went through an egg whites phase for a little bit where I was eating egg whites every morning. And then I realized I should just have a little bit more fun with my life. So I had eggs. Um, and that's kind of where I'm where I'm laying now. Or I just don't eat breakfast. Uh, see, that's <laughs> see, I'm so anti don't eat breakfast unless you like intermittent fasting. I'm st- like, yeah, eat, eat your breakfast. It's, uninten- it's unintentional intermittent fasting to where like yeah. I'll sleep in a little later than I need to and I'm busy. And then it's like a like 10 35, 10 40, and I'm like, I'm just gonna wait in for I'm just gonna yeah. wait for lunch. Unintentional intermittent fasting sounds like a like a really grungy band. I was about to say that. Sense. I feel like the music would go it's a, hard. It's a good band name. Uh, all right, you're going, <laughs> you're going to like a diner. And okay. Like just a normal, whatever, like your IHOPs, yeah. your Denny's, or just like a, a diner. What okay. is your, what is your order? Like, what are you getting every time? Cause I'm my, I myself, Ooh. I'm like a skillet guy. Like I'm almost, I love a it. Skillet with, love a with, good skillet with runny eggs and a side of like sourdough. Like that's just on side. Yeah. Getting smashed. The sourdough. Like 20 minutes or 20 seconds. Easy. We're, we're pretty much on the same page. I, yeah. I'm a big, I'm a big skillet, a big scramble guy um sometimes i'll do an omelet but only when i can choose exactly what goes in it because I'm, I'm feeling very specific that day um give me a side of a uh, of bacon and if i'm feeling real hungry I, I like a little pancakes on the side there as well so like I, if i'm going to a, if i'm going to a breakfast restaurant like i'm showing up hungry yeah i'm showing sure. up hungry exactly you, you can't just go to one of those places and that was one of the one of my favorite parts about traveling was i would always try to find like the weird spot and some of the guys i lived with or some of the guys that were traveling on the bus with me they'd be like let's go to chipotle i'm like dog they got chipotles everywhere yeah like, come on that's gotta be a that's gotta be a rule when you're on the road is don't go and, to some place that you can go to back and home i know i know we say no free ads but like this is just to hammer home the point chipotle is is has one of the highest hit rates out of any food like it, it always hits so i get it but i would always try to find the niche little spot i found a couple diners that i would like walk to i found one in Oh shit! Where was I? I think, like somewhere in South Texas. <sighs> Wasn't South Texas? I don't know. Wherever it was, and I got like no, we were we were on the way to Texas. No, I don't know. I think we were somewhere in the south. I think we might have been in outside of New Orleans or something. And I walked to this in- incredible small mom and pop diner, and I got a Benedict with it was like the Craw Queen Benedict, and it had like crawfish like hollandaise on top. It was unbelievable, and I was like, this is like probably my entire calorie daily value, but who cares? It was worth it. It was worth it. Yeah. Th- those are the moments when you walk into places like that, where everything else has to go out the window, how you're going to feel afterwards, what your dietary like content is going to be like, no, you just have to go in and you just have to enjoy the meal. I would imagine that that would probably be one of the coolest things about traveling the country is that you can have so many different kinds of food and yeah. places that you would never have had the opportunity to try before. Yeah, there was there were definitely some some fun meals. Tony, what are you asking? Where? where? Yeah, he keeps asking where. Like, are you talking where as far as like the grocery underwear? store, underwear? Uh, <laughs> uh, where are we? Well, we're at home because mm-hmm. uh, Gerald has a wedding later today, so PHNX is is running remote Dude, except for PHNX throwing, Suns. I'm gonna be throwing that in a circle tonight. Dude, you know what? You strike me as somebody who is the king of the dance floor. Um. Yeah, I'll freak a little bit. No, you seem like the kind of guy who like, like, you're like, oh, no, like, I won't do it. that. No. I won't do that much. And then like, you get there and you're like, you're like in it. And then you realize everybody's kind of like in it with you. And then you like feel the responsibility to keep the groove going. And then you're just, you're just off. Nah, not, it de- I mean, it de- definitely depends on the tequila soda count, but. I heard, not, I heard the alcohol will be flowing bountifully yeah, at, a, at G-Man's wedding. Uh, I did some time, uh, Donald said, I did some time in. Pascagoula, Mississippi, and my God, some of the worst looking restaurants, but the greatest foods. That it is always, it is always that. We drove through. Oh, there was one place. Uh, so again, some random town. I think this was in the south also, and we drove by this place that was a very small establishment, but it had, um, it was a bakery, but it was all in Spanish, and the the okay. population of the town was like three hundred, and I was like. I need to go there. And we did. Yeah. And the, the, I mean, the, it was amazing. It was so good. That's usually like something that I've noticed in my life is that the, like the, there's a line, of course, like some places can't be trusted, but the dingier looking the restaurant, mm-hmm. like usually the better the food is going to be like, 
there was this place, uh, and and no free ads, but I'm going to say the name anyway, uh, in Arizona called Chino Bandino. Okay. And I don't know if you've ever. I feel like you would love it. I feel yeah, like you would love why? it. It's Asian Mexican fusion. Oh yeah, like like another place that I know in Scottsdale. I've been to a place like that. Uh, uh, amazing. So, but, it, but it's it, but it's hoity toity. It's not. So it's here's so here's the thing. Chino Bandino started uh, as a very small like very run down looking semi hole in the wall restaurant for like a very long time. And then eventually they moved to more like kind of looks like a bigger fast food restaurant type of style. It's still not like hoity twitty, but it's like nicer. Mm -hmm. And it, it's probably some of the best food that I've had in Arizona. Like if, if I want straight up Mexican food, I'm going to some burrows, but then if I want like a little special treat, I want something that's like a little bit different. Like Chino Bandino is that thing, and like, a, a, and Chris is in here in the chat saying, "Give me a sketchy looking dive with a line, money every single yeah. time, without a doubt, without a doubt." And I feel like that's like the places that when you're talking to people, like, "Oh, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go?" Like sometimes if you just drive and just drive down a street and just start looking, like especially if you're in a more like metropolitan area with a bunch of different options, like you can you can find something real good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, do you 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 uh? You a big fan of of dive bars? Yeah, I mean, I I don't find myself going to them as often as I'd like to. I mean, I, I I'm a big fan of just like anything with vibes, you know. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't I have like to be a lights. specific vibe. Yeah, I like lights. I like uh, just like kind of that feeling that you get. Mm -hmm. Like you're just like in there, you're cracking one open, you're talking to whoever's there, and you're just like, like almost like you feel like a you're in a movie a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so Actually, I, are you, I are you still on the plane? If you're, still said, yeah, plane, just, if you're still on the plane, you should totally call in right now. I'm going to send you the StreamYard link. Yeah. I, the, the fact that, that Toe Tree has, has not even updated us on how the concert went. Well, he had a rough day yesterday before the concert. As, oh, as did he? Ke Ke Keenan Allen got traded. That um, is true. He might have missed the he, concert because he was crying. He's No, he said that Marvin's room was going to hit a lot different, though. Oh, jeez. So. Yeah, he was supposed to be a charger for life, huh? Mm -hmm. He was supposed to be a charger for life. That's tragic. I do think, and I've been saying this for three years now, but I do think this is Keenan Allen's final, finally time to descend now. Like he's finally, he's finally reached his peak. Cause, cause last year I was like, there's no way he can keep doing it. And he produced at a very high level again. Um, toe has been on, been on break though. So he wasn't ignoring you, Donald. Yeah. He was yeah. Donald, he, he, he had a, a much deserved uh, vacation and I'm sure he will get to all of your discord messages uh, when he gets a chance, when he gets a chance to breathe, who knows if he's even still watching right now, he might've just hopped in, commented and then hopped out, yeah. you know, yeah. that might've, might, might've been the toe tree, the toe tree move, you know, you yeah. know, just what you have to do. You know, uh, but the toe tree move. Oh, I was about to. I was about to make a transition too. We're on the same page. Tell me what the toe tree move is. is. Is sitting on sitting on his couch, taking a couple of OGs, and then texting you the most absurd thing you've ever heard. He's or just watching animal documentaries. Yeah, dude, have you ever seen Animal Fight Night? No. Okay, that sounds we'll illegal. That. We'll get into that. No, <laughs> it's not illegal. Uh, we'll take some OGs brands and watch Animal Fight Night. I don't know if it's on Netflix anymore. Basically, what it is is it's just it's like Planet of Earth, but instead of like like watching things go about their daily lives. It's just animal breeds fighting. It's like, but it's the same breeds. Like, it's not like you're not seeing like a cougar take down like a, like a lizard. Like it's, it's, all they're not like, like putting in like an octagon. No, it's like, no, it's like obviously in the wild, it's like cougar versus cougar. Have you seen giraffes fight, dude? Where they just whip their heads. They're just like throwing that. Somebody clip that. Somebody it's clip insane. that, please. Um, but yeah, if you take some OGs and watch that, I guarantee you'll have a good time. Honestly, if you take some OGs and do anything, you're going to have a good time. But take them responsibly. To learn more about OGs gummies and where you can find them, head on over to OGsBrands.com. You must be 21 plus to enjoy them responsibly. I'm having a vision, Shane. Oh, yeah? Oh, my God. It's coming to me. Oh, wow. Toe Tree, on his way home from the uh -huh. airport, is going to stop at Circle K. Uh-huh. Get himself some delicious snacks and a fountain drink, and then he's gonna go home, take eight OGs, and watch Animal Fight Night. Wow! Sorry, did I say That's anything? Huge. I just kind of blacked out for a second. What did? What uh, did? Uh, what did? Uh, That's so Raven. You say? Yeah. What did she say? If she'd like, she'd come back. Somebody in the chat has to know. She'd come back. I know what you're talking about. I don't know specifically, but that's kind of what I felt like. That's kind of what I felt like. I'll find it out. 
Okay, I got you. I got you. But listen, man, it, it, Anthony Totri will be back. And when he's back, I know for a fact that when he comes into work, he is going to stop at Circle K. Even though he gave up energy drinks, a commendable cause from him. There's so many, so many, there's still so many things that you can get at Circle K. And plus, if you join their inner circle, which you should because it's free, and why haven't you done it yet? You get every six free on a selection of Circle K products. That's pizza, coffee, ice cold fountain drinks. You get 25 cents off per gallon for your first five Phillips. That is big time especially with gas prices now. Plus, after that, you can save three cents per gallon every day with chances to go up to four cents and five cents if you're just on the inner, inner, inner circle. But you do that by filling up your tank more. I've lived here my whole life, been in Arizona my whole life. Circle K has always been, before I even worked here, my go-to stop for snacks, anything convenience store related, and of course, for gas. Join the inner circle for free by downloading the Circle K app today. Terms and conditions do apply at participating locations. Visit CircleK.com for details. You got our That's So Raven update? No, I don't know. Maybe I'm just making that up. I don't know. I can't find anything. I know. I can see like her face where she's just like, like yeah, when she's like, like, like one of those. She yeah. goes like this. <laughs> could you imagine? Could you imagine if like you were just like chilling with your friends and then somebody just goes, that'd be terrifying. I would, I would hate that. And they sat back and like, I saw your future. And I've then they were wanted, right. I've always wanted to be looking at somebody and just, just, middle of conversation while I'm talking, tell them to wake up to see what, what would happen. Um, I think that'd be fun. Speaking of waking up, speaking of waking up, Anthony, are you ready? Oh, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. <laughs> hey, Mr. Dude. Man. Hello. What's up boys? How you doing? What did, what I miss? what I miss? Um, Oh dude, well, ASU basketball is about to win the Pac-12 tournament. Seriously? Yeah. Close. Yeah, dude. yeah. 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 I don't, yeah, no, I don't think that's. Uh, Are you alive? I'm, I'm, I'm extremely exhausted. Um, part of it has to do not just from the concert, but the first night that we got there. Um, me and my little brother we were staying with one of my uh, one of my friends from college, and my brother cooked up a, a little twenty five dollar parlay for everybody. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I saw. Yeah, so we. Uh, that that ended up hitting, but my brother said that if that lay hit, that he got to sleep in the guest bed, and I had to sleep on the couch, and the lay hit. So my back is killing me uh, from <laughs> sleeping on that couch. Uh, but hey, we are we're richer because of it. So that's huge news. How was the concert? What, what time did you get in to bed? Incredible, incredible. Uh, probably like one thirty ish. So not oh, really? not 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 too late. No, that's not not bad at all. Uh, we left this morning at eleven. 11 this morning um and then obviously he got back just a little bit ago so in the two hour so time difference is perfect for those of you who don't know who don't know Tochu is in san antonio to see drake did you go to the rainforest cafe on the riverwalk dude i saw it and immediately thought of you i was telling my buddy i'm like come on let's go get drinks at the rainforest just, cafe just get one drink man yeah come i know on. we 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 went to some local spots there that were really 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 good spots did you go to the did you go to like the, the tiki place uh what's the tiki place called i don't know would i know it yeah, you would know if you went to the Tiki. No, place. Uh, uh, uh. we went to uh, a place called Mad Dogs that was really, yeah, really Mad good. Mad Dogs is great, yeah. It's so good on the Riverwalk. Um, and then there were two other bars that we went to. One was like an Irish pub, um, and then there was another like country one where they were playing like live country music, and we were Jeez. sweating. We were sweating the Bulls game. Demar Derozan hit the hit yeah. the the fadeaway jumper to send it to OT. Lost it. It was it was crazy. But that concert, dude, for anybody that's has the luxury of going to see Drake. Um, I mean, just incredible. I've seen a lot of concerts of like Beyonce, Kendrick Lamar, Eminem, and Drake and J. Cole together are, I mean, probably, that's probably Absolute number one. Cinema. It, it really was. I'll, I'll tell you what, man, like he came out. So Lil Durk opened for him. We were in line for the whole, for all of Lil Durk. We were in line for like an hour, 20 minutes just to get into the arena, oh. um, which was awful. But so eventually we get to our seats right before it starts and he's coming out with a, he doesn't come out, but a marching band comes out, like just banging the drums. And we're like, what the hell's happening? The lights dim, boom, fire goes up and the marching band starts to play uh, trophies and everybody loses their mind, dude. Um, and he started off, he had like a, a little version of himself, like where like, it was like a Degrassi, like locker. Um, and then the, this kid's like writing in his journal notebook or whatever, and the camera pans to the real Drake, and Drake like takes the microphone or some some shit from him and starts going. It was it, it, awesome. cinema, 
cinema man That's for huge. sure. It's yeah. huge. Um, well, we just have one question for you. What's the most aptly named word? Aptly named word. Mm -hmm. Like what's by aptly what? you mean perfectly named? Yep, it sounds exactly like what it is. Ooh. I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to go out of left field. I think elephant. Mm, that is good. I think like, elephant's properly named. I feel named. like Ella is the big body and the fin yeah. is the tr is the Absolutely. trunk. Absolutely. What did you guys say? Pillow so and cloud. Pillow and cloud. Okay. Are, I said uh, abyss. Wow. Abyss. Arizona coming, coming from deep. Rah, abyss. Uh, uh, I had parallel. Parallel is a great uh, one. Parallel is a good one. But oh, flower? marshmallow. Anything with O that's soft. Marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. That's valid. I so get a. What about zap? Just quick mm. and to the point. Brick. Zap. zap. Brick's Brandy. pretty good. Brick's pretty good for sure. Uh, what else fluff? is there? Fluff. Fluff's a solid one. I wish I could see the the comments right now. It's hard to see on my phone right now. But sorry, brother. No, it's okay. We'll, we'll, it's we'll okay. read them to you. There is a comment from Tony that says Tochu just finished the night shift at Waffle House. Care to address the allegations? Uh, yeah, I spent zero time at a Waffle House. Um, and I don't intend to go back until GM Saul Bookman fulfills his punishment of going to Waffle House. So, that needs uh, to happen back. soon. It does need to happen. It does need to happen. But yeah, man, uh, glad to be back. Glad uh, we'll, we'll start fresh. Start fresh next week. And uh, spring football is right around the corner, man. No more. <laughs> no more basketball, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chain's sad. Chain, yeah, Chain's sad. Chain's Chain's sad. It, he's a big college basketball Chain. guy. And, and, you know. Chain. Hopefully they will be back, you know? Hopefully, like, they will actually be back. Well, well, get out of here. <laughs> Anthony Touch, everybody. We'll see you. Love you, guys. Uh, on, on Tuesday, right? Yeah, on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Tuesday. Have a great rest of the show, boys. See ya. That guy. I hate that guy. I know. He's the worst. Guy. Like, genuinely, like, I throw up in my mouth when I he talk. He smells like him. eggs, too. Dude, you could smell him because he probably had, like, eight eggs just this morning alone. <laughs> And you could smell it through the Zoom call, like um, that's or the the not Zoom, but whatever we're on. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He he started talking. You can see the egg just yeah. coming out you, of his breath. You, you really could. Uh. Okay. Well, let's. We got hot or not coming. Uh, Leo okay. texted me three. You got your topics. In, invisible ink. So. Oh, Donald. Donald is pumped. I could feel Donald's like adrenaline yeah. rising. Yeah. So that's huge. But before we get there, we got to talk about a uh, legal. Pete's dude, illegal Pete's is so elite, and I want their. You know, you can get potatoes in your freaking burrito bowl. Who else does that? Oh, it's so good. God, I love illegal Pete's. This episode of the PHNX on the show is brought to you by illegal Pete's, and it's margarita season. It's patio season. It just the rain just finished. There's nothing better. I don't know if there's a better feeling than drinking a margarita on a patio when rain just finished and it's clear it's clear outside like just the best feeling you can smell the rain it's amazing that sounds they, real nice yeah they got bowls tacos salads burritos nachos piping hot queso everything you want and college basketball season is in crunch time winner lose legal pizza is here to bring you a win with their legendary sound check deal it won't it won't bring in your ticket stub from any ticketed event and get a draft beer or house margarita for a penny for free basically Illegal Pete's wants to celebrate with you, whether it's a pregame or postgame parties with locations in Tucson, Tempe, Arizona, and they've got you covered for all your game day needs. Must purchase an adult entry to redeem Illegal Pete's sound check deal. Illegal Pete's, your go-to spot for burritos, buddies, and beer. And if you're wondering, how could Totri get his way to San Antonio and go see the Drake concert? Well, my friends, that is because he used our friends over at game time, and it is truly the best way to buy tickets because you can get them last minute and you can get them for cheap. Now I know Totri purchases a little bit out in advance, but game time also has you covered for that. And if it wasn't already easy enough to get into a game, maybe with Diamondback season up, you want to go to a game, one of the early ones, see if the creating chaos is back. Maybe ASU football, when they come back, you want to go and get to their season opener because they're promising season ahead. Hopefully you can use our friends over at Game Time, and you get twenty dollars off your first purchase with code PHNX. All you gotta do: download the Game Time app, create an account, use code PHNX for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Go find a concert, find an event, whatever you want. See what you want. Click it. Get it for cheaper. Go. 
have a great time. Come back here. Thank us. Tell Shane that his hat is cool. And that is the whole, that's the whole shebang. That's everything you got to do with game time. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. I know game time is hot. I know illegal Pete's is hot, but I'm sure that those are not any of the topics that Leah sent you. Yeah. I hope they're more, I hope they're polarizing. I love a good polarizing topic. That uh, is a good, so let's, good let's hope. go with the first one. I haven't seen these. This is my genuine reaction. Here's the first one. Unswiping the invisible ink bobbleheads, hot or not hot. Yeah. I love collectibles. Yeah. I'm a, if if yeah. if I'm anything, I'm a guy who loves knickknacks. Like the Knick biggest guy. I'm the biggest knickknacker. Like huge. Like love collecting knickknacks. Love love storing knickknacks. Love finding <laughs> knickknacks. Love going to just browse and peruse knickknacks. Huge Dude, knick-knack I guy. I do love browsing and perusing on some knickknacks, Dude. man. Like, yeah, if, it, if, it's if it's I'm, a good time. It's always if a good I'm time. not knickknack guy, then I'm a browse and peruse guy. Like for sure. Yeah. I mean, those things hopefully usually go hand in hand. I, I feel like this is a, this one's pretty easy. Like there's a line, like if I walk into your bedroom and all I see are bobbleheads, mm-hmm. just all I see are bobbleheads, then, then we're going to have to take a step back a little bit and address the situation and, and probably a real problem. But if you just love collecting them and like, I know we love showing them off a lot of our sets over at PHNX, we use bobbleheads. So that also plays into my answer. I think this is a, a, a pretty, pretty simple hot. And uh, Donald is in the chat as always participating, saying they are hot as well. Definitely. All right. Second hunt or not frozen yogurt. Hot. Yeah. Hot. Hot. It's, it's it's hot. almost cold though. It's it's close because I don't know. I, I like th- it. This is the this is the thing that that, that this is the, this is what saves it. It's the toppings. If we're just talking frozen yogurt by itself, no, I'm good. Like I'm not. I'm I'm getting ice cream or I'm getting gelato. Like frozen yogurt is definitely my third choice for frozen treats. But the all froyo places have a place where you can dispense and then you can go through and scoop and top and oh my god that topping. Topping some froyo is the best feeling ever. Knowing you're ready to go home and just smash some some cake batter froyo with snow caps and and all the other stuff. Like it's just elite. What's your yeah, only place with legit toppings, Chris. Everybody in the chat and Eric, what is your go-to froyo base and toppings? Okay, here's the thing. I can't I can't give you my go-to because as soon as I walk through those doors, like I'm I'm an impulse you, man. You go primal. I'm a, I'm an I'm I, I see all the different options, like I have always been a type of dude to mix. I'm a, I'm a mixer kind mm. of man. And so like, if I see two flavors that I think are going to go well together, but I've never tried them before I'm mixing them. Like there's, yeah, there's not a, there's not a doubt in my mind. Right. Like, so my, that the reason why I know frozen yogurt is hot is because usually you get it in that sense. Like, I don't know, I guess I'm not really like going and buying frozen yogurt from the store. Uh, but if I'm walking into a place that sells Froyo and I'm looking, I got all like the little dispensers and stuff. Like I just, I know I'm going to have a good time. And if for some reason I don't, it's on me, that's my fault. Like hand up, I'm, I made the mistake there. Um, so Donald says his go-to is strawberry flavored toppings, whatever. Oh, strawberry flavored toppings, whatever he's in the mood for. Chris says cake batter base and, and sometimes just plain is great. Also says Donald. I mean, listen, I, I feel like, like vanilla? It, Okay, let, no, here's a, I here's can't a, do vanilla unless it's a compliment. Unless it's a compliment here, to something else, you can't just go pa- straight. Here's vanilla. a palate cleanser topic: is is vanilla plain? Like is vanilla plain ice cream? If somebody says plain ice cream, what do you think? What are you thinking of? It's vanilla. If somebody right? says plain ice cream, but I think not, vanilla. It's, it's not, but it's flavored. It's flavored, but it's like it's usually. Donald, light. Is that what you mean, or is there plain froyo that doesn't taste like anything? <laughs> just, it's just yogurt. Just, <laughs> it's just no flavor to it. No, I think he's talking Wait. about just like just like frozen yogurt. Plain. Or maybe he's no, saying no. just plain like like a flavor with no toppings. Oh, just a That's flavor with no toppings. I, yeah, you, you could go with that as well. I'll, I'll say I usually stay away from like the sorbet e flavors. I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm so like, – this is like – I know a lot of people love it. And, I, and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for a good pie. But like I don't like fruit flavored desserts. Like if I would eat, I if disagree. I want to eat fruit, I'm gonna eat fruit. Like uh, especially hot fruit. Ugh, I hate hot fruit. Like an apple pie is different, but it can't be too hot. I need to put ice cream on top of it. Like hot fruit is just disgusting to me. Okay, I I get where you're coming from. Apple pie, I absolutely love. Apple pie I do great. love me. I love me some some fruit flavored cheesecakes too. Like a, like See, a blueberry that ruins cheesecake. It for me. See, I, I that like ruins it. it for me. I know a lot See, of people think that ruins it for me. Yeah, yes. everybody is anti. Everybody is anti. So that if that was the last topic, it would be not hot. 
Um, I would be, I'd be lukewarm on it. I'm open to it, but I don't see. You know what? I'm gonna go not hot on frozen yogurt because it's carried by the toppings. Because I'm switching, I'm switching my, I'm switching my tune because I am, 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 because no, because I can't, I can't be a wishy washy. Like if something is carried by something else, like you have to address it. And and the topic was just frozen yogurt, not frozen yogurt shops, not frozen yogurt with toppings. It was just frozen yogurt, not hot, frozen yogurt. Contrarian. What a contrarian. Last topic, and and it's a. It's good for it's it's very relevant today. Destination weddings. So having a wedding in like overseas or somewhere far, destination weddings, hot or not. Whoa. You just you unless just triggered, you Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think if you do a thumbs up, it like does like a celebration thing sometimes. That's happened a few times, but it never happens when you want it to happen, yeah. only when you don't want it to happen. Um okay. Caveat, if you're like super rich and your entire family and all your friends are super rich and it's yeah. just like not a big deal, then yeah. But and if like it's smallish. Yeah. But like nobody, I'm sorry, but like nobody would be going to Gerald's wedding if Gerald was like, I'm gonna get married in Hawaii. Like, oh, okay. I'm there. I'm there. No, but you're not paying for that, brother. I'm there. I'm there. Okay, Shane's there. But, Shane's but only there. only because I just spent six months living on an RV. But that's other, fair. but but you, you do no, need to I see some Hawaii. That. That's and that's what I'm saying. Like actually, I'd do anything it, for Gerald. That's it is Gerald. Maybe Gerald <laughs> was the wrong example. But like I, I just think uh, at the same time, man. Yeah. Like unless everybody is super rich and it's super convenient, and everybody can comfortably stay. Like I feel like you're just putting a lot of people in a really weird situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean the circumstance is totally dependent. Like if it is your absolute boy or like somebody you're very close with. Then it's flaming hot. Like, hell yeah! Send me to send me to Italy. Dog. Oh, they're if if they're paying for it. Oh, if well, I'm getting a, if well, I'm getting an all expense paid trip, that well, shit's hotter if, than the sun. Even if even if even if they're not like if it is my boy and I'm and I'm like then I'm just treating it as a vacation. I'm there for I'm there for a week. Whatever. That's fair. But yeah, I, I think on its face, it's probably not hot. Fair enough. Fair enough. I would say I would say it's not hot because if you have to give very specific set of circumstances for it to be hot. It's yeah, Chris does make a good point though. Like the older the the the, the longer your life is, and the older you're getting married, the more people are going to have to travel from out of state to go to your wedding because people don't live That's in the fair. same state. So it just depends yeah. on where it is. If it's overseas, then it's then we're talking. That's probably, when I think destination wedding. Yeah, I'm thinking. I think far. like Italy. Italy, like even Hawaii. if it's in the country, like Hawaii, right? Like yeah. some some place, some place exotic, foreign, different, yeah. surrounded there by water. Go. Chris, Chris, Chris says it perfectly. The idea of a destination destination wedding is scorching, but the reality is soggy. Soggy, elite word. Great word. Aptly named word that sounds like it's yep. Yep, aptly named word. Eric, forty seven minutes of talking nothing. Dude, just Anything ripping. Else before we get uh, I will be talking some ball. Later today, uh, since everybody will be at Gerald's wedding and the sons decided not to treat that as a holiday, which I think they should have, but Terrible. you know, they're just, Terrible. they're just not considering that the greatest reporter on earth is getting married today. And that's okay. Yeah. Well, I will be stepping in and I'll be uh, running the show over on PH and X sons tonight for Huge. the pre and post game show. Tip off is at four 30 pregame is at four. Uh, we got my boy, Steven Prigian and Aaron Edwards are going to be joining the show. They're two really good voices on sons Twitter and have both done some work for us before we're going to have a good time. We're no Espo Saul flex Lindsay and Gerald, but we will fill in as valiantly as we can while the rest of y'all are boogieing on the dance floor and celebrating a man named Girth tying the knot. So that's all I really got going on, but uh, I had a good time chopping it up today, man. Talking shop, talking nothing, talking... Just talking, talking ball, but not by talking ball. Yeah. You know what I mean? OG's Flavor and Fridays. Before that's we get right. out of here, though, we should talk a very small amount of ball. Um, okay. Predictions for the games today. Colorado, Washington Ooh. State, Arizona, Oregon. Who we got? I'm going I'm going to go Colorado. Unfortunately, my dad went to Washington State. He's actually out there for the game. Okay. Uh, Colorado looks hot. Cody Williams put his first game. Didn't do much, obviously. He came off the bench. I think he scored six points yesterday. But, man, that team is on fire. And Washington State's great. Like, they, they've been playing really well. They just blew out Stanford. They, they beat them so bad that their coach got fired. Actually, I think it was because of the speech. So, sorry. Dude, me. how could you not watch that speech and and, and, and be like, yeah. that guy needs to go? Yeah. He, I mean, he's going to be a hot commodity, though. He's going to get picked up somewhere. Future um, ASU coach? I think that's going to be a great – no, stop it. I think that's going to be a great, great game. And then, obviously, Arizona-Oregon. 
this game feels like it's it's an easy Arizona pick, but that's when they sneak yeah. up on you. Yeah. I'm going to go with Dana I, Altman and the Ducks. Ooh. See, here's the thing. We're not late <laughs> enough into into March for uh, for them to choke. So uh, I'm going to give them a few more games, probably set the expectations even higher so that when they fumble, it'll be even worse. I'll take Arizona to beat Oregon begrudgingly in Colorado, Washington State. I really hope that that's going to be a good game it's because be Col- good game. I mean, Colorado blew out Utah and Utah was coming off. Uh, I don't know who they beat in the first round, but they definitely beat the breaks off of them. And then uh, Washington state uh, beating Stanford significantly as well. After Stanford had a lot of momentum coming back in OT and beating Cal. This could be the game of the tournament right here in Colorado, Washington state. And uh, I'm going to roll with uh you know what, damn it? I've been doubting Washington State. I've been I've been doubting them all year. I said it from the Go beginning. Coops. I didn't see it, and they keep proving me wrong. So I'm going to pick them to win so that they actually prove me right, and they lose. So Washington State beats Colorado. Washington State, State Arizona face off in the championship. And you know what? Cougs are winning the Pac-12 wow. final year. That's it's the Cougs. It's the Cougs, Cougs here. Honestly, that would be fitting because they, they, they're they the, one of the only teams not going to a major conference. Um, Correct. We'll, we'll, we'll also talk some um, – some college football playoff stuff that came out today. Uh, they agreed on new terms through 2026. I don't think they've agreed on anything in terms of extending the actual playoff, but we'll talk about that on Tuesday. Um, yes, so sir. Sure keep it locked in right here on PH Nick Sun Devils. Guys, it's been a pleasure as always. I'm going to do a bet show real quick at around 1215 or 115 Arizona time. If you want to come hang in the chat for that, we're going to be talking some conference finals, conference semifinals. All of that right here on the page of Next Sports YouTube channel. But until next time, you can follow me on Twitter at Shane D. If you can follow Eric on Twitter at Eric Ruby, follow Totri on Twitter at Anthony underscore Totri. And you can follow the show on Twitter at PHNX underscore Sun Devils. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Happy Friday. And we'll see you on Tuesday. Peace. We all silly like the mayor.